Hello, what is this edition here? Welcome back. And today, I'm a bit confused, guys. Not gonna lie, I was slightly confused with what that noise is in the background. Um, because basically, it was good to do this up. So, I think I've been pranked. But, like, I've had enough to see if I can find them. Like, first off, I thought they were trapped in this little room here, but I have literally no idea where they are. And there's just a thing which is leaked out, I think. But they are here. Where are they? It's really hard to tell as well in Minecraft as to where they are. It's like I haven't had a look in here, which is my AFK, which we call it. I cannot see them. It's like they are they in the walls? I just... I'm just checking them out on the back. Probably could dig up the floor, but I can literally just put them. Wait, what's that? Is that a gap? Oh, no. Yeah. Why? This looks, uh... rather interesting. This is just up here. And now, now I'm stuck. I see food, I suppose. That's... Here. Oh. Um... This is my issue, so I'm like, what the The second half slaps. So that means I literally have to... Uh... How am I going to get these out? Alright. This is, this is just... Great, this is absolutely... I've got them all. That took me a very long time. It took me maybe 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to. I'm still. Where are these? Okay, guys, so in this episode, what I want to do is bring up the speed with what has been happening. And this is a Rubik's Craft item distribution system. So each of these things distributes a different type of item. In fact, I'm just thinking about this now. You can literally just have one of these. 
I didn't need to build this five times. Or three times I did. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It looks cooler, I suppose. So, a lot of these, as I said, like your detectors. And this is going to give you a stack of items, which the rail system's there. My system's the first one over there, and then the marble lines. And then it will eventually go all the way over to Buckner Palace, which I have been working on. Have I taken you over to Buckner Palace yet? It doesn't matter anyway, because today we're going to be making some more uh, base progress on Buckner Palace anyway. And so if you're over there, I'm just going to go to Marble's base, so you get to see more interesting stuff. Okay, this is other ones with the two beacons. And guys, I hope we try. I hopefully we'll try and uh, bring these episodes out every week, but obviously it's that. Oh, it bounced. That's good. Up. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, I need to use the light for launcher. Just close this one to get over to Buckner Palace. Oh, Buckner Palace is quite far away. Speed up. And then go like this. Here's another thing. Oh, I haven't walked over it yet. Okay. Press F3 to look at where you're looking. I'm not too sure. Um... Oh, whoa, I'm here already. Oh, okay. And boom! I'm going to try and fly around first. So this is Buckner Palace. This, this is the front section. And this is going to be my base. It's... If you saw in Season 1, if I can stop myself from falling into a wall... And... Land. Great. So... In Season 1, I built Eiffel Tower. Half-scale model. This is basically a full-scale model to achieve so I'm currently putting half slabs in right now. If I can get all of this half slabbing done like this took a hell of a lot of half slabs but up here this is my storage area and oh if I can jump there we are sandstones there a load of iron bars when we pranked auto quartz with front and the rest of the sides with my redstone like Wood for the slabs. Fast the hardened clay and the red clay is for the front area and maybe the bit of the sides. But yeah, just a load, a load, and a, a load of resources. So that's good. So oh, there's more half slabs into it. Okay, I need clear inventory. So let's. Boom, ba -da -ba -da. Maybe keep the water on me. Maybe keep the stack of underpulls on you. Keep the arrow on me, actually. I'm just like, it's getting to a stage now where everything is just getting so full. So I'll get another bit of stuff. I'm going to keep the flash and I'm going to get rid of it because it's on fire to all the wood. I was going to give those to Shorty, but. Food. In fact, maybe a bit too much. I need to check out. Stuff in your stomach. Let's go over. Fine. Do that. So I have plenty of food for the next one here. And. I put the water there. That one looks alright. Maybe put that in the pool so that it's up. And put. Yeah. That's fine. Um, right, so. Take these half slabs. And I'm going to take these as well. Just like craft. Just like so. Boom. Loads of blanks. That's blanks again to be one of the favourite things I love to craft. Because it's just so fun. So it's still like that. Boom. Oh, it's really good and great. So. Just more, more planks. Just Use that one. Take one, one. Yeah, 
Okay, let's not put that one because it's good to a bit of space in case we need it. Alright, so I'll place the slabs and then hopefully we may be able to do this in uh, Okay guys, so progress we made there, and that's probably going to work for this episode, simply because, oh yeah, it's not I'm going to put it now, and then add it on the end, but if not, then thank you very much for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, play, do all that stuff, you guys are awesome, uh, and I just want to say, the reason I was with them was because Citizen and Pyrex, you can see them in the death tab there. They have made some awesome, 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 awesome Guardian farm that I love because it's one gives you good XP. Even though we do have the Enderman farm that I made by Marvel Man, it's still really good because it gives me those crystals. What are they called? Are they called crystals? Those white dot things. What are they called? I think they're called crystals. Crystals on the shards. So then you get to make uh, sea lens. So why did, why did I click that again? That's going to be it for this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, favorite, do all that jazz, and I shall see you guys in the next episode.